Hey there, Gavin Gu here from UltimateReloader.com. In this video, I'm going to cover a really important tool that every reloader should have in their tool chest. That's a case gauge. Now, I've already done a video on the LE Wilson rifle case gauge. You can check out the link to that in the description below. In this video, we're going to look at the complement to the rifle case gauge, which is the pistol case gauge. It's the same overall concept, but the pistol case gauge actually measures different things and is used in a slightly different manner. Now, if you had an unlimited supply of ammunition and time and firearms, you could check your reloaded ammo and be certain that for a different cross-section of firearms, your ammunition is going to perform reliably. But the good news is you don't have to do that. Using a pistol case gauge, you can quickly check your ammo as it comes off the reloading press and be certain that it's going to function reliably in a wide variety of firearms. So let's take a look at the revolver pistol case gauge and the autoloader pistol case gauge. So let's see how these case gauges work. For both revolver and autoloader, there are several measurements that we can use this gauge to measure. The first is cartridge overall length. We've also got bullet diameter, case body diameter, case length, rim thickness, and rim diameter. Let's see how it works. We start by holding the gauge and dropping the cartridge down into the gauge with this cutout at the top and the text reading vertically. What we want to see is the back of the case rim either flush or slightly below flush with the back surface of the gauge, like so. The second measurement we want to perform is to drop it onto a flat surface. Now, if we saw the cartridge uh, peek out above the back surface of the case gauge, we would know that our cartridge overall length was too long. So it's very simple and very quick to take a measurement with the case gauge. Now, what if this was stiff or what it is if it didn't all the way go down? Well, we can then take a backup measurement with the actual firearm that we intend to fire the cartridge with. Now we can insert the 44 Magnum cartridge I'm using here for reference into the cylinder. Now it slides nice and smooth. So if we had the cartridge slide in smoothly enough here, but it was stiff in the pistol case gauge, we could still use it in this particular firearm, but we would not be assured that it would work in any firearm. So that is how simple and quick it is to use the case gauge for revolver. Next, let's take a look at autoloader. So here I've got a Glock 20 that is chambered in 10 millimeter, but I've also got a Lone Wolf 40 Smith & Wesson conversion barrel that I use in this particular firearm. So for autoloaders, the procedure for checking the cartridge dimensions is basically the same. So we drop the cartridge in. Now this one is just a little bit stiff. We drop it on the flat surface. It's not poking up. So the cartridge overall length is good, but I'm slightly suspect on the sizing of this particular cartridge. So what I'm going to do in this case is use the actual barrel that I'm going to be using in the Glock 20 to shoot 40 Smith & Wesson. And what I'm looking for is, does this slide in and out smoothly? And, and you can hear it there, head spacing against the case mouth in the chamber. This is going to be perfectly fine, and it was only slightly stiff in the case gauge. So in this particular case, we know we're going to be good. So you just saw how quick and easy it is to check your own pistol ammunition, whether it be revolver ammo or auto loader ammo, using the L.E. Wilson pistol case gauge. Now, if you want more detail, there's a more detailed write-up on ultimatereloader.com. Check out the link in the video description here. And of course, if you like my videos, by all means, please subscribe. It's the community that powers what I do, and I really appreciate it when you guys support me. Thanks a lot, and we'll catch you later.